On an absolutely gorgeous day in the swamp, it is time for the Florida Spring Game, the orange and blue game. It's the culmination of spring practice for the Gators. Year three for Billy Napier. Aiden Mizell will return the kick from Trey Smack, and they are ready to go with the orange and blue game. Jordan Ball in the backfield. DJ Lagway on the run, taking a shot down the field, and that ball is incomplete. It is senior season. Lagway trying to make it happen with his feet. Defense was looking for that. Now to run through that tackle. So a third down coming up for the orange offense, who is wearing white jerseys. Lagway steps up over the middle of the field, and that one is too tall. Hunter Smith will punt it away to Trey Mitchell. Trey Wilson, I beg your pardon. This year in this offense. Mertz on the pop pass to Trey Wilson. But I guarantee you they're going to try to find creative ways to get number three the ball this year. Mertz to the air. Down the left side and incomplete. It was a young secondary a season ago. Third down play here for Mertz. That's complete across the 40 from a year ago in terms of yards to the end zone. And it's not just on the offense. That's the defense and what they were able to keep in his second season as the defensive coordinator here at Florida. But has been joined by his football dad, he said on the staff. Ron Roberts making the transition from Auburn here to Gainesville. That pass, their first third down opportunity. Mertz with a clean pocket in time. Now he's got to scramble. Throws across his body, complete at midfield. Out of the pocket and letting number three uncover. You mentioned it a second ago, 61 catches, 538 yards, six touchdowns a year ago for Trey Wilson. Takes over an offense with a new scheme, new language, so it's like coming to a new country and trying to figure out the, the local language. Now he speaks it very fluently. It's a give to Johnson again. Johnson picks his way through the defense, trying to get to that first down marker, and he's going to be dropped short. It's guys, something that this, this transfer portal season brought to Gainesville, but when you have experience in the SEC, it's even more valuable. Going forward on fourth down, keeping it on the ground, and that's close, should be enough. Snaps, but to be able to be fresh as the season wears on, which I thought last year Jackson wore down quite a bit. Mertz flushed from the pocket, and he will throw this one. Going to talk directly to my quarterback, get the play in quickly, and perhaps mention something else as they're coming to the line. Two of three on third down. They've got a fourth down conversion so far. Webb. Motions out of the backfield to the top of your screen. Hurts with time. Smith. And his pass is caught. But also Chimery DK, the transfer from Wisconsin, a guy who we will keep an eye on. Webb on the carry. Does obviously have a little bit of a rapport. Even more so, we hear these guys playing a lot of golf together. Hurts tried to deny that there was much golf being played right now, but I think the, the links are going to be Sticks Occupied. are coming out They're soon, coming right? Out, no doubt. On the ground to the left side, and good penetration that time. Another third down. Blue offense three of four on this drive on third down plays. Burtz over the middle. That one's tipped into the air and incomplete. Blue offense trying to get on the board first in the orange and blue game. Here at Steve Spurrier, Florida field. The field goal is good. Second chance to look at the orange offense who had the ball to start the game. This one's returnable. That is Mizell. Out across the 25. Mizell breaks tackles and they'll blow it dead, I think. Has openly talked about the fact that he would still be re being recruited down to the day before signing day. A lot of pressure for him to stay. Not only the offense, but from Graham Mertz himself. I thought DJ Lagway's father may have said it the best on Twitter, just thanking his relationship with. E.J. Lagway as well. Lagway tries to get to the outside. The, the, the family understands that the future is bright for Lagway. The worst thing I think that can happen for young quarterbacks sometimes is being put in situations where they're playing too early. Kate. Goes and ball. Well, the freshman from Atlanta, how about this, averaged 14 yards per carry. Gatorade player of the year in that state as well. So Florida being able to go in. Graham is how to finish ball games. Florida had opportunities. I think about the Missouri game. 
chances to get off the field and just couldn't. DJ Lagway, that's a touchdown to Aiden Mizell. Hunter Smith on for the extra point. And it's now the orange off. To have more chances down the field, but being accurate with the football and minimizing those interceptions, obviously, those guys don't get as well. But I think having had a quarterback like Mertz have that experience has been beneficial for sure in the perspective of bringing. Originally from Pensacola, transferred in from Cahoma County Community College. That's in the Mississippi Delta. It's time to the air. Pass is complete to step up. I, I only talked about the returning production from last year. 61 catches from Trey Will. DK obviously not catching balls from Mertz right now. Back to the ground, and this time here in front of a crowd today on the game field is important. 38-yard try from Smack. It's good to see some of these young players who maybe have had a little bit of experience last year was improved, and it's good to see him show up, make a play. That's going to give him some confidence going into the rest of the offseason. Great National Player of the Year. Uh, and to see him handle the recognition uh, that comes with that, I think it's been awesome to see his family's be better this year. Well, we've got experience. You know, I think for the first time there, if you look at that group as a whole, a lot of players playing last year, first time in the spring. Uh, we definitely had a chance to uh, see how this team has evolved. I think even during a 15 practice the nation last year well the good thing about playing young guys early they come back a little bit more experienced the next year you talked about the Graham Mertz back in at quarterback for the blue offense and put a couple of field goals on the board the only touchdown has come from the orange offense all that pass from lag Graham is very difficult right you, you bring in guys you don't know how long you're going to have them you're having to re-recruit him was recruited by will harris who's now the new florida secondary coach so when you can get a guy that played in the national championship that's a sixth year player that is a huge benefit potential to be physical with opposing wide receivers with that length lagway back to the air that's marcus a season ago how important in what florida is trying to do offensively is that tight end position it's huge i mean the 12 but those guys, particularly the versatility that Boardingham can bring you, being able to split out in a wide receiver. Even extra field goal, so 10-6 on their scoreboard. Hey you said Liberty's great player of the year out of Willis High School in Texas. Play action, lets it fly. What a pretty a ball, and what a nice catch. On the reception, Taylor Spierdo. It's hard, and he's been able to contribute here the last couple years. Drops it down a little sidearm, but the ball certainly has some revs on it when it comes out of his hand. The thing I like most about that last throw. Over the mm. middle, incomplete. A little early in this offseason about being more organized. And I think that is uh, managing the clock in late game situations against Arkansas. So they've got to clean things up. They're not good enough to overcome self the limits what, what opposing defenses are going to be able to do. Aiden Ball back into the game. He gets the handoff, breaks a tackle, trying to get to that first drive. This time it's Hunter Smith from 24 yards mm. out. And he snapped that important rule in this game, especially when it comes to number 15 and number two. Wide open. Catch by Trey Wilson. Really took Wilson under his wing, and I think he benefited supremely from having the opportunity to work with number one last year. How about a touchdown for Trey Wilson? 10-5 end zone. A 60-yard strike. And one of the things that, that was really interesting, you know, you, you hear, obviously, Florida a place with a rich, rich quarterback tradition, and the expectations for that position are a little... Win. If you have the rest of the players playing with that around him, this Florida team's going to be much improved. And who knows, in a couple of years, we could be talking about DJ Lags from Mertz to Wilson. Now Lagway. On the run, wide open receiver, and that ball is caught. Kind of evolve a little bit if he could be a little more consistent than he was last season. Lagway. And whistles staff to, together. Austin Armstrong told us he and Ron Roberts still talked mm. two or three times a week. How about another chest, but a difficult pass to go down and catch it. He Second and goal from the 10, 21 seconds left in the quarter. Lagway. Flushed with his feet. Trey Wilson, we saw it last drive, saw the big touchdown over the top. So having some of those big plays certainly will help this offense. And 
Maybe open up the run game, too. Play action, touchdown. Taylor Spierto in the back of the end zone hauls it in. For a team that's looking to add depth at wide receiver, perhaps can see his role continue remaking the roster and are now really focused on guys that fit. And, and that gets until the halftime break. And they put it on the ground. I thought chance? after the long break, that meant we had something coming. I was going to say, any chance we get some spring boober? We earned it in practice this week, so that's why you see the score reflect the 17-13 total up on the board. Returnable kick. Quarterback, it's Jacoby Jackson with him in the backfield, and Jackson play action instead of throw. First and 15, though, after a flag. So it wipes the gain off the board. from Oregon. It's a lot of snaps that those guys have experienced in college football that they bring to this Florida defense. Triquez Bridges played in every game. This one complete. That's Khalil Jackson down the generation Florida football player. On the ground. This one blown up to grow up with both Willie Jackson Jr. and Terry Jackson, Khalil's uncle. So a, a great history of football playing here for the Gators for the Jackson family. Toward the end zone. Birds with Webb in the backfield. He swings it to Webb out of the backfield. Caught. Smacks, kick, splits the upright. I think he's proven that so far. Coach, you're one of the few coaches that still has a traditional spring game. Why is it important for you guys to put these guys in this position that, to replicate it? Uh, so I just think there's benefit from a process standpoint. I think it gets them ready for what we all know is a challenge in the fall perspective on our team last year uh, and we've been able to add, add, add not only tapped coaching Billy thanks for your time thank you guys thanks coach Billy Napier head coach in his third season in a crowd this size it's thinned out a little bit in the second half DJ Lagway on the run that pass is complete he's got TJ I thought both Mertz and Lagway so far have had some success a little razzle dazzle but Lagway addition of Gerald Chapman the new defensive line coach, I think, has been beneficial to Florida's defense this spring. And two of his defensive linemen were irritated to, to Slackman in the locker room. So a nice addition for Florida's defense. Lagway looking for another hour and 20 minutes away, probably. Third and 16 here for Lagway in the orange offense. Steps up in the pocket mm. and he throws an interception. That one's picked off by Manny Nunnery. We think about some of the early orange and blue games that you played in. Well, I mean, today what reminds me of is the, the show of fan support. I mean, mm -hmm. this is really, this, uh, this system is just going to do wonders for him. And then you add to that, you know. Second year in the system for Graham Burns. How big a difference is there year one to year two? Take on how this roster has been constructed and the overall culture of the program right now. Well, I, I think one of Coach Napier's strengths is being a culture builder. I really like the things that he's very intentional about. Everything is very intentional. Oh, my, that was quite a play. Crawled all over his back and made the catch. Turnovers like we just saw, that could lead to a lot of great success this year. Good point, Chris Dan. Danny, got to ask you about why. It messes things up a lot with the numbers. I think what we're trying to find out this year on the Gator team is, is do we have another guy that can cross the country? Well, it's, it's really special on our end because our award, the Wolford Trophy, is not. So it's incredible. And they were in Atlanta, so it, just the friendships is really special. And you're celebrating Ohio State. The University of Florida club pickleball team hosted a big tournament this morning. They had teams of alumni come back, play against the teams that can play and enjoy it. And uh, there's a little more dopamine rushes when people are trying to hit you with the ball. It's like a little sword fight or something. DJ Lagway leading the orange offense. Quick throw out to the far side. Get to see guys that can step up. And there's a lot of guys that are going to be counted on to this Florida team that you want to know that can trust. You can trust them when you as we open this fourth quarter. Get enough. Hooked it to the left. Them to be in a while. And, and so you know, just getting back to bowl eligibility is important. Danny mentioned the difficult schedule that Florida plays next year, but I think today for Graham Mertz as well. Johnson on the carry across the is off with the, the, the change in rhythm. Make the handoff on the end to ring that term around here because the original freak, Javon Curse, was a Gator, but physically he is special. Yeah, the, uh, sets the bar pretty high when you talk about the freak. A lot of excitement 
for you about this team and where 2024 could sign when you're about to take a shot because I want to be zoned in on that, all, right? <laughs> all right, I'll think of something. Right, <laughs> what, what do you think overall about? Um, they get a pair of J's, so all right. it's competitive, man. And the guys just love ball. Graham, we thought we were hanging out with the, the thing that was most impressive to me yesterday was his desire to help everybody around him learn. And with the, a team to get a, a transfer in addition to that quarterback room from a guy that's got some experience. Oh, it, it, Did he have the orange and blue glasses on when he was? When I, he was I started that? trying to think, like, who else would be in that? But a year ago, there were a lot of question marks in, in a lot of places with not a ton of experience coming back and then this year this season for Lane Kiffin and Ole Miss. Connor Wegman, a guy that season was cut short last year with yeah. an injury at Auburn. On the ground and a big run for the Orange offense. It's fun to see the benches get a chance to empty late in these spring games. This time level of, of intensity and accountability to that position. But to come back and play well. It's the Umami Ellen, one of the transfers out from Florida. Along with the guys they brought in through the portal is going to give them an opportunity to present much more for def or opposing offenses to have to prepare for. So much for the uh, the clock running, too, until we get to the uh, the late game situation. Well, change of possession, they've stopped it. We get, we get that. Flag comes in. Mert Mertz pressured, stepped up. He's able to dump it off for a completion out of the backfield. Did go with another penalty and moved it back to the two-yard line. Trying to make it difficult on Graham. I guess they called it a sack after all. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of plays in the playbook for second. And five wide from the, the, the five-yard line, throw the ball down the field. Quick throw instead. And from Trey Wilson, but they need more of uh, an effort from the entirety of the room. Driving spiral that find now it becomes even more difficult with Texas and Oklahoma joining in. Ulti with penetration kind of disrupting some of the run game. Lagway with the pump fake and then he DJ Lagway steps away from the pressure, lets it fly. That has a lot of pop when it comes out of his hand there, and the accuracy's been pretty good today as well. Hunter Smith punts it away. Fair catch called. Mertz with time. Trying to Second and ten. Mertz. When we went on the road, though, I do like the orange pants with the white jerseys. This one may have been the orange was staked with three points from something that happened in the uh, practice week. I'm sure there will be. But I don't think that that means that they're not eating hot dogs tonight. The clock, so that gets you down to 43. Or they just go to the... Which means Blue didn't have to burn a timeout. Blue team bringing the blitz. Nice job by DJ. If they keep throwing it up a point with 47 seconds left. Here we go. Lag waiting. Second and 13 coming. It's KD Daniels that motioned into the backfield. Flagway buying time with his feet. Hang right. Flagway incomplete. Has not dwindled at all between those two fan bases, so it's going to be an exciting one here on August 31st. Uh, so what need to get to about the 37 yard line? That pass is the middle of the field today so far. Both offenses have. Mertz with time. Over the middle of the field, that ball's caught. That is in. That leadership and experience brings to you. No timeouts remaining for the blue team. They throw it over the middle of the hand. They've got to spike the ball. The final play of the Florida Spring game. Good snap, good hold. Kick is on the way, and it is good. And it is a walk-off win for the blue team. Trey Smack splits the uprights. And they get the three points at the end that were gifted to the Orange team from their work at practice earlier this week.